All right, now it's time to get into WCW Nitro here. Uh, oh July 29th, 96. Start off with a da 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 we talk about it every time. This intro is so fucking cool. Is this the coolest intro ever? In terms of like just visually? Yeah, not like just probably. cool. That's a tough question to throw out. Sure. I'd have to think about it. Top five. Uh, <laughs> the one where Austin's walking and the pyro's going off. Oh, while well, he walks in the building? Oh, uh, yeah, that one is pretty bad. They're like fighting a one, fire yeah, ring. Why are they fighting like that, you think? Is it the, like Russ and Potato situation? Or? <laughs> what, they're fighting over them? <laughs> yeah, or who can put it in their ass now? I got no more questions. <laughs> no, this, one, this one's probably the coolest. Just, I, I always think of this scream where it's like, oh, on the Nitro thing. <laughs> who is that, the giant? Oh, oh, I don't know. I never thought who's about actually that. screaming. I don't Blake know. Blake Beverly. Like, <laughs> no, right? it's not. It's not fucking they show Luger? Isn't it Luger this time when he's when you hear the scream? I oh, can't maybe it could be, but it's not actually his scream. I don't think. I think it might be the giant scream. It might be right. Yeah, maybe right. There's a lot of intros that are awesome, like because like just because of the song. But the song mm -hmm. is cool here, and the presentation is fucking cool here. So this this might be the best ever. But regardless. Yeah. Uh, this is fucking I'm awesome. not gonna fight you on that shit. You know yeah, what I mean? I, hey, uh, well, I, we out I, here. I'm, I'm with it, brother. I'm with it. Shivani has a coin choice. Says, or uh, he says, WCW Monday Nitro ignites once again. Which I didn't. He says that every week. You think? I don't remember that. I, yeah, He's I'm just not trying sure it. He He's trying yeah, it. Yeah, first time. <laughs> <laughs> last first time. <laughs> last time. <laughs> <laughs> Shivani and Zabisco are out here in their Mickey Mouse polos, which I thought looked adorable. Because they're at Disney. They are. This is crazy. They're like outside the ticket booth at Disney. <laughs> that was awesome. It's cool look. It is fucking cool, Tony. And there's a huge, like, big WCW letters. Is that just above the ticket booth? Yeah, yeah. They got the WCW, like, across yeah. the whole ticket booth. Yeah. And they, had, they brought everything from the actual set. So they have the WCW, like, the lettering. Trust. Uh, yeah. With the trust, yeah, everything. It looks awesome, man. They really set this up very cool. Shivani and Zabisco are here, standing in front of the crowd to run down the card, which uh, was a very early to mid-90s thing to do, the standing in front of the crowd. Vince loved doing it on Raw, too, as we saw oh, on yeah. one of the uh, episodes the we first talked Raw. about. Yeah, what, what, uh, what year was it, 93? 93. 93, yeah, wow. I was born that year, right, guys? I was born the year before that. Tony? Oh, okay. Yeah, right, guys? Right? I was 15. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shivani says the New World Order are fucking up all the control center trucks. Yeah, more like the New World Order. Oh, man. Yeah! yeah. Shut yeah. the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Well, you're going to fucking love that for the rest of the fucking show, Tony. Right, he like always stumbles it. on it, too. He stumbles every time. The New World yeah. Older. <laughs> <laughs> WWE's been mercilessly at, uh, attacked by NWO for months now. And Larry Zbysko says, well, the New World odor, I don't appreciate them. And if they don't say the past, they will be doomed to repeat it. But uh, yeah, Shivani <laughs> shows us a recap of WCW Saturday Night, uh, where they sent this footage in, uh, which had the following. Uh, Lex Luger and Sting on the way to the car in the parking lot. Just a crazy turn of events here. They're on the way to the car in the parking lot. In the shadows is Hall and Nash with the camera guy. <laughs> no, I think are, I think they're holding the camera. Or is there a camera guy? No, they no, both guess, are beating yeah, his right. ass. They both his ass. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. No, they ass, have the dude yeah. from, uh, what was that game on the N64, Super Mario 64? The dude follows you around oh, the in the cloud, cloud with the camera. Thing? Yeah, 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 what's going on over here, NWO? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I go the wrong way. Fuck you, man, you're going the wrong way. Yeah, don't make me turn around. <laughs> I'll throw this penguin off the edge. There's a murder going on. So Luger is, uh, he gets asked by his stagehand to come take a phone call. And that it's is important. such bad timing for Sting. Unbelievable timing. Um, Catastrophically this will, bad timing. Actually. This will actually happen to Sting for the next 25 years. <laughs> as every time, I remember there was so many times Sting got attacked in the TNA Impact parking lot. I was going to say, yeah. They're, Sting fucking outside. Yeah, and Sting got attacked many times forever. Maybe He's Sting very naive, gets that's a clue. Steve Borden. Yeah, no, it, you know, sometimes you just have a blind spot, and Sting's blind spot is getting his ass whooped all the time by, by cars. Everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, Hall and Nash are waiting in the shadows. Sting is by himself in the parking lot now as Luger goes to take the call, and then, of course, Kevin no. Nash and Scott Hall attack him. Dude, they whoop his ass and he's wearing the khaki shorts. No, you can't, <laughs> you can't leave him laying in the khaki shorts. That's fucked up. Don't do this to Sting. 
Dude, my favorite part about this is they beat Sting's ass. They left and then sent a VHS to the WCW headquarters, <laughs> and then WCW aired the footage of Sting played getting it. washed. Yeah, of <laughs> they played it twice because I think they played it on Saturday night as well. So they played yeah. it Saturday yeah, it was, night. It was it last week on Saturday night. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. That is insane, man. Well, guess Dude, who that, else is here? Who? Hold on. The the outsider. Hold well, on a second. It reminds me of the outsiders. One time they uh they were <laughs> chasing the Steiners in cars, and they were filming oh. the whole thing. And someone is in the backseat. It might have been X Pac in the backseat. I don't remember who Six, it was. Yeah, Six. Someone was someone was now. filming it, and they it's ran about the road. The car flipped over, and they just like murdered oh the Steiner God, brothers. What? And they filmed the whole thing and sent it into Nitro, and they played it I on the air. <laughs> Steiners flipped their car in a chase with the NWO. No, the NWO like ran them off the road. They killed oh, the Steiners, but like the they fuck? they sent they it into cool. Nitro, then they aired it. You know, like they sent it in there. <laughs> they didn't send it to police. <laughs> no, <laughs> they, just, they, they just aired it on air TNT. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a car's about to flip. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's a that's a big one right there for the Steiners. I wonder if they're okay. They got a Japan tour coming up. <laughs> yeah, they came back next week. They weren't well, hurt, I'm sure. Yeah, well, their flight back is going to be late because we don't know when Nitro is compared to Japan time. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's so Shiva- hard. Shivani says, these guys are cowardly, and we've had attacks over the past couple weeks, and it's horrible. But anyway, we have some great matches this week. <laughs> you guys won't believe the action we have this week on Nitro. Wow. Uh, we're starting off here. Blake Beverly. Dude. This right. is this is my favorite match of all time. I think. Oh, is this uh, really? This is what are your top I, five, top this tens? This is right your here? top five. Okay. Listen, Look. I'll talk about this match all day. I love this fucking match. This I'm gonna I'm tell you this. This is wrestling to me. This is uh, this is a true white boy summer in '96. <laughs> this whole show is white boy summer. This is actually unbelievable. The crowd especially is white so boy summer. It's actually Mike Enos, of course. Mike everybody, Enos. Everybody knows him because he was with Colonel Rob Parker, right, guys? guys? Mike Enos. <laughs> you know that? Uh, of course, Mike Enos. <laughs> Mike Enos. Versus Mike Enos. Who is he Enos. facing, of course? He's, of course, facing Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Now, can you explain how Mike Enos, Enos, Anus looks here? Because he looks like a few different people. Dude, there's like one <laughs> specific guy he looks like. I get there's like what's just who is it? Tell me who he looks like because I I have in it on the tip mind, of my tongue. I just want to make sure. In my mind, he looked like both Stone Cold and Horizon, <laughs> just with hair. He did or, have the jacket, but he, he looks he, like Chris Masters. He also looked like no, who is dude. Dude, Mike Enos at, at, in this juncture, I think he looked like the dude. Was he in uh, the Longest Yard? The dude that uh, oh. with the the cross eyes that plays in the Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking. About. Yes. He looks like a non cross eyed oh. version of that guy. <laughs> yeah, oh in the Longest God. Yard. I think in the long it was either the Longest Yard or Waterboy. I think it was Longest Yard because he was. Jonathan Laron? <laughs> That's what you're talking about. Is that his name? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I just know it was Adam Sandler's friend. Jonathan what? <laughs> Laron, uh, here I'll dude. Oh my god, he does look like this. It took a minute. It looks just like Dude, that. facially he looked like Stone Cold to me, but then he also Holy. looked like Chris Master, but he does look like Jonathan Laron as well. I was so blown away when I saw it. I couldn't like put it together until right then, but yeah, That's dude, wow, he does look great. just like He's him. in a all the movies that yeah, that's his Taylor boy. Did. That's Adam yeah, Taylor's wow, boy, that's man. Awesome, bro. Yeah. I ain't doing shit unless my boys come with me. That's like the, that's the <laughs> that's way it based. works, man. He's brother. That's real. Oh, I love that shit. Uh, I feel like Jim Duggan has worked for every company we've reviewed. <laughs> yeah, dude, and he's doing the yes. same gimmick every company, and it's over as yeah, hell because every time. USA is always over, brother. Well, yeah, Mike, right. Mike Anus is also American. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, don't worry about I'm that. Not really sure what's so i would if you don't mind i would love to talk about this match because yeah I, dude this is uh this is a i good love one. this I, I will i will uh i will say this much uh i'm pretty sure there's like half the fans can't see the fucking ring really was it like the i swear i swear the, the the background wasn't like bleachered up it was like like it was, was bleachered straight? up on the right yeah i think it was straight because like a lot of people what? were Standing beside each other on the entrance way, like at the entrance oh. way, it went far back. Maybe right, you're right. Okay. it went way I didn't far even back. Think of that. You're um, right. So they definitely couldn't see shit unless they moved them up or something. Maybe, I don't know. I guess so. Yeah, maybe people were just taller then. You That's know, true. Yeah, Wasn't we did get shorter over time. I think so. Well, I will tell you, Meltzer said this is one of the worst matches ever. <laughs> oh, but I disagree greatly, and I'll explain why. So they're going back and forth. We got some clotheslines here. Close lines to the floor, shoulder tackles, the the strength of these two. They cannot 
nothing is knocking these two down. They are equals. They are two rough and ready gentlemen. That's what it says on Mike Anus' jacket. It says rough and ready. That's how I knew he was rough and ready. Which is nuts. So standing in the center of the ring, shoulder tackle, stare down. Mike Anus throws a shoot headbutt <laughs> at Jim Duggan's face. <laughs> he headbutts him, and Jim Duggan, he's not taking that shit. He returns one right back to Mike Anus' fucking face. <laughs> and then they both start throwing punches, and I'm losing my fucking mind. This is amazing. Tony Schiavone's on commentary talking about the NWO. He says, we're in the midst of intimidation uh, by the New World Order, and New World Order. says, I like to call him the New World Order. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, buddy, we know. We heard you. Trust That's me, everyone asshole. listening to this with the rusted potato thing. <laughs> Look, buddy, we heard you. <laughs> <laughs> New World Order. That's what I like to call him. Dude, he, uh, at one point, he's calling uh, Haxa like a di- dumb dinosaur or something. What's he in? The Brontosaurus is he's the always dinosaur. He's always giving him heat. Brontosaurus is. <laughs> well, Jim, <laughs> let me say this about Jim Duggan. Jim Duggan would have had a if his gimmick was Jack Torrance from The Shining. I feel like he would have wow. that would have been a beast gimmick. For some wow, reason, every yeah, time dude. I look at this fucking freak of nature, he's a bad dude. <laughs> I, I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think, like this dude was built for wrestling. You know, look at this dude. Dude, and, like, yeah, look at his he eyes. Was, he could definitely do Jack Torrance from fucking The Shining. Right. I know he could. He, I know. Like we always see him as like the happy go lucky, or you know, or he's Canadian, one of the two. But like <laughs> he was. Happy then. Happy go lucky USA or happy go lucky <laughs> Canada. Um, but like, yeah, if he did, like, I couldn't imagine him like turning a fucking like to be like an evil heel doing the like uh, what did they call it? the stare or whatever where like it like it looks down at his fucking forehead and his eyes are up oh. like the evil stare. I imagine Jim oh, Duggan yeah, yeah. was like fucked up with that man. They, and they could add a bunch of nails to his two by four or something, and he could have killed somebody. Yeah, like, was, like why not? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they could have killed Janice. somebody. It would have been crazy. Would have called her I Janice. Think. It would have been great. Oh, you know, oh yeah. Like yeah. That. Well, that's, that's not going to work for like here. twenty more years or something, buddy. Yeah, no way. And it it's not going to work ever. <laughs> 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 All right, look, buddy. We know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> We're outside now. By the way, shoot headbutts, thrown punches, uh, legendary WCW padding on the floor with the flames on it. Uh, uh-uh. uh. We're not fucking with that. Mike Andis scoop slammed Jim Duggan on the floor away from the padding. <laughs> fuck Dude, you, man. Fuck that. Fuck you, Mike, for doing that. <laughs> for real. No, it's awesome. We're fighting here. Uh, we go back in the ring. Uh, Mike Enos does a running splash in the corner. Duggan immediately... Uh, this is an unbelievable sequence. Duggan throws a punch. Mike Enos headbutts him in the face again. <laughs> Jim Duggan then starts throwing an unbelievable barrage of strikes that I've never seen before. He out does of a unleash man. some crazy punches. <laughs> and then Mike Enos, out of pure rage and anger from being potatoed, shoot clotheslines Jim Duggan in the face and fucking bumps him. <laughs> Jim, Jim Duggan did not want to bump here. Mike Enos then works a chin lock for three. <laughs> three minutes, of course. Fuck. He bumps Jim Duggan and then starts doing diving headbutts to a grounded Jim Duggan's back. This guy gets it. This guy is pro fucking wrestling to me. Duggan's comeback consists of him yelling, no, no, no. (laughs) And then throwing some punches, whipping Mike Enos off and doing the craziest shoulder tackle bump to himself ever. They double down. Uh, Mike Enos goes for it. Just so we shoulder tackle double down. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> right. Off of his shoulder tackle. <laughs> shoulder tackle double down. <laughs> Just make sure we understand what's going One on man here. shoulder tackle right. double down, correct. Uh, Mike Enos whips Duggan off, goes for a back body drop. Duggan, sunset flip. Not only a sunset flip, Tony, but he whips his ass out. Mike Enos' his ass is out, and he falls over. <laughs> <laughs> All the while, I'm distracted because a man that looks exactly like Bam Bam Bigelow is buying a Coca-Cola in the front row from the Coke dealer. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy just with Sprite and There's a Coke dealer in the front row? That's Coke awesome. Coke dealer in the front. This match was given an unbelievable amount of time, but it was worth it, uh, especially for the end here, where the referee is admonishing Mike Anus for stomping out Jim Duggan in the corner, and then Jim Duggan... He has to do what he has to do to win because if he doesn't win, he can't feed his family. So he reaches down into his the front of his, his front of his trunks and he's playing with his cock and balls and he pulls out a roll of tape. Yes, he wraps his fist in tape because back then these were illegal things to do. CM Punk ruined a generation. This used to be a gimmick. He, it was he a just stipulation keeps in, his, in his cock. He just keeps <laughs> tape down he, there. Of course, you never know when you have to tape your fist, Tony, and knock a guy out. And that's what he did here to Mike Enos, and he pinned him. And that was, of course, the Pet Boys Power Pin of the Week. <laughs> Dude, they say on commentary, they say on commentary, they're like, it's only legal if you do it before you get in the match. Okay. Well, the ref, 
the ref didn't see it, so it must have been illegal. In it's the ref's just—he's well. like waving the tape around. How the ref not see <laughs> it? It was, it was attached to his wrist. Still. <laughs> You're right. I, uh, Pet Boys I love plus this match. ten of the week for me. Pet Boys Power Pin of the Week. It's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this match, and I, I I hope we get to watch more Mike Enos in in our future. You know, you, this match will only win like seven and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but it felt it was I, I was Dude, so it felt tapped like in. forever. This was the longest match like in history. I don't know. And I was so here. tapped in. They had me move, James. Yeah, man. I hear you, man. Thank uh, you, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, you, you like know that what? match? Yeah, man. It was. Uh, Thank you, bro. Thank yeah, you. man. It was a great. You were match. with me. Thank you. For me I to poop so on. No. <laughs> no. Don't do this to Blake Beverly. I'm Jim Duggan. He's yeah. an American hero, you fucking nah, piece of you're shit. You're right, you're right, you're right. Thank but you. it's not Blake Beverly. It's Mike Enos, and that's what he gets. It's even better. Um, I will say this much. Uh, they used that Pep Boys Power Pit of the Week so you get Mean Gene in the ring so yes. he can try to make a bad apple analogy, and then <laughs> Dude, it doesn't oh work. My, oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Holy fucking shit. I'll let you do that. I, I, Jim Duggan. It cuts a little promo here. He's talking about Hulk Hogan, of course. Uh, first, by the way, Mean Gene immediately admonishes Hagsaw for that. Was that was so base they did he's that, like, <laughs> he's, he's like, oh, well, coming off a victory, highly questionable. But we have other things to talk about. Jim Duggan <laughs> rolls his eyes when he says that. <laughs> questionable. What do you mean? <laughs> Fuck you, man. So what do you think of the New World Order? And Jim Duggan says, Hulk, what have you done? Not just your friends or your countrymen, but your fans. The young kids that look up to you, they believed in you, Hulkster. He says, I've been with you for almost 20 years. I've gone to Make-A-Wish. I've gone to the Special Olympics. I know what's in your heart. So what's wrong with you, Hulk? The first words my oldest spoke was Hulkster. <laughs> Damn, that's not good. That's gonna be that's gonna be my story too. <laughs> Duggan and Duggan and Hoagie going to make a wish and Special Olympics are like crazy brunch spots. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Duggan says, I gotta look her in the eye and tell her what kind of man you are. Hulkster, you're a great technical wrestler, but I don't want to wrestle you. I wanna beat you up. <laughs> that's a lot. And then then James. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Mean Gene pulls it all together here, and what does he say? Do you know? Uh, no, I, I I do know that he tried to make a bad apple spoils the bunch yeah, analogy. Okay. Uh, That's what it was supposed to be, right? The crowd would rather chant USA, so it didn't really <laughs> so, work. Mean Gene, <laughs> That's, I, I don't think we can use this analogy, but you know, you take a good apple, you put it into a. Basket of bad apples. USA! Well. USA! <laughs> USA! USA! <laughs> and well, uh, enough said. USA! <laughs> what? You, you take a good apple and, uh, well, you fucking got some apples. Fuck yeah, here. you do. Got some fucking apples. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fool can't be fooled again. That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's hey, real. Fool me once, fucking give me an apple. Just fool me twice. Hey, USA! Come I on! <laughs> <laughs> Even Duggan gets behind him and yells at the mic, USA! <laughs> I couldn't believe how badly Mean Gene fucked that up. Well, it's because he was free. He couldn't even hear himself talking over the goddamn oh, USA yeah, chance, You're right. Man. You put it into a fucking basket of bad apples. Yeah. Hell yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah, you do, dude. Fuck yeah. <laughs> the hell yeah. You take a good potato. Yeah, you stick it in your ass. All right. I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter. You get a couple of bad potatoes, you know? <laughs> Sometimes they are bad, you know? But now it's time for the Macho Man commercial. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like <laughs> Slim Jims. Yes. What okay. it was. <laughs> That's what he said. You, you take a Slim Jim, brother. You put it in a basket. <laughs> couple bad gyms. James. I know a couple of those. <laughs> you make a couple Top bad gyms. Bad gyms. gyms. <laughs> Good chains basket. Number one, Jizzy Dizzy. You get yeah. James Storm beer. You get James Storm beer. <laughs> right? Of course. Uh, so, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> am, I right? <laughs> am I right, guys? <laughs> yeah, he's, Tony gets it. Uh, but now it's time, uh, actually, for the ultimate group of white boys. Uh, it is, is the Four Horsemen insane. versus Macho Man, Sting, and Lex Luger. Yes. Uh, and this is... Uh, this is the longest match in TV history. <laughs> I love uh, I love ninety six WCW because everyone in the crowd is so like it, they're so out. yeah, dude. They all throw up the four and it's all so mean. The way they throw it up is so fucking like yeah, they, vicious they, like, with me four four yeah, they, man. Like you know what I mean? We're not nowhere anywhere near North Carolina. You know, four. <laughs> they felt that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. Well, the four horsemen are are by the way, just so everybody knows, the people that come out here for the four horsemen are. 
Deborah, Liz, Woman, <laughs> Chris Benoit, Steve Mongo McMichael, and Ric Flair. <laughs> Dude, Deborah, Woman, and Miss Elizabeth are like unbelievable honeys. That is, I, I love beautiful. that they definitely politic to get all the most beautiful women into the four horse. That is group. crazy. Yeah, you're right. Deborah, you're come right. out with the hands up. Looks Dug like she came out Throw sterile. The fuck she <laughs> came out sterile. She got gloves on like Patrick Starr. <laughs> So it's crazy, man. She's awesome, not even bro. doing it like the four. She has her hands like she together. Just, she's like, sterile, like the five bro, yeah. horsemen. Yeah, that's just yeah. crazy, man. She can't count. It's all right. You don't need to. Yeah, we got other people to count in this group. You don't worry well, about we, that. And we have to worry about the new world odor. Odor. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> yeah, it's just something to right, think sorry. about. Well, that's something we got. So do. sick of um, it. So this is a crazy turn of events here. So they all just start attacking each other. This is awesome, right? And then they go to commercial. Glacier is coming. <laughs> Glacier. He's going nuts. Oh, no. oh, look at him go. He's going X Games. <laughs> look at him. He's crazy over there. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> they even got the undershot, like when the Power Rangers used to do a jump kick. It's like that hit him throwing oh, spin right. kicks. I said, holy shit. I'm awesome. really like, surprised they didn't try to do like a Power Rangers dude. Like they decided to go like the Mortal Kombat route. Like, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. I'm really surprised with like. Especially 96 was hot. For Rangers, yeah. So I'm I'm kind of surprised by that, um, yeah. but it does come back from commercial and all that sweet brawling. It doesn't matter because now we're resetting and they're in the corners, dude. Yeah, they're just in corners and we're just having a match. And I was like, oh man, I was hoping they'd just like brawl and the match get thrown out, and then the NWO would do something fucked up. That's what I was hoping for. But no, we get a long, long. Match. It's actually twice as long as the uh, Mike Enos and uh, Jim Duggan. Oh no, really? And not nearly as good. I'll if tell you can't you have a good match in seven, brother, you can't have a good match in Talk 14. to them. All right. Talk to them. That's just the way it goes. Four horsemen. God <laughs> four. damn it. If four you can't do it in four. Horsemen. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, uh, there's a couple funny things here. Sting bumps Flair to the floor. Macho Man immediately starts whooping Flair's ass on the floor and throws him into what they call the VIP catering, which just looked like a table with a bunch of fruit on it. I'm not sure what was going on there. They had oh, VIP that's for the table. boys at the Disney. No, no, you get the VIP. Fans? You pay VIP and then you get fruit. That front row, you get fruit. You get an apple. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh. <laughs> to throw at the wrestlers when they suck. <laughs> the tomatoes. The Tomato throwing. table. <laughs> you get <a> couple, <laughs> that would be awesome. You get a couple of bad apples over there. That's what you uh, oh, you get, oh, damn, no, Tony, you're fuck. right. That's you're real. Right. New you're world right. odor, right? <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, he says it probably a hundred times in his match, I'm sure. Right? It's odor it's over the over. entire fucking match he talks about. Dude, New World Odor and Hog Wild. I was dying laughing this whole fucking match. So, uh, I mean, yeah, they, they do go a long time here in this match. Um, Fuck. Yeah, so, I mean, but it, it, it makes sense. They're like, you know, six of the biggest stars in this company, if not the six yeah. biggest stars in the sure. company uh, up to this point. Um, but Sting throws, they do the classic stuff. Sting throws Flair to the corner. He flares over, gets Press hit. Slams. Yeah, fucking mother effing bomb. Sting yeah. gave him a push and <laughs> Dude, Flair takes a bunch of those in this match. It's like a he does, Everybody gets the mother effing bomb on Flair. <laughs> yeah. That's like that one of awesome. his favorite bumps. He takes it on his hip. Tony explained that's because it was his fucking uh, car crash. I learned it from Tony. Plane, plane crash. crash. Plane crash, crash sorry. Crash in a plane at a he, bad hip. He just he, took he a, did it. <laughs> he just took a bump <laughs> on the other hip. Sure, good idea. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That like... <laughs> He Flair always had his bumps. Like no matter who he was facing, but at the time it made sense. Everyone doing the mother effing bomb made sense. Like it didn't even yeah. con he didn't even consider not doing that bump. It was like okay, I just have to learn a new way to take this bump. Yeah, he could just not do that. <laughs> no, these right. are the bumps he's taking every match. I mean, <laughs> mother effing bomb. I guess after this point, most people driver. wrestled just like that. Like they, whenever yeah. they wrestled Flair, like he had his bumps that he would take, and then and like that, yeah, other than that, he was it. just selling. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Flair points to uh, Miss Liz on the outside, then goes Holy out and shit. kisses her on the fucking lips. Dude, and then Macho, and then Macho Man, says, Man Ooh, fuck you, brother. Fuck you. <laughs> You're one of my least favorite gyms. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I'm going to kick your ass for it. <laughs> so Luger and Mongo, this Holy is insane. Shit. Luger and Mongo get in the ring and they have a fucking Hogan Rock standoff. At Disney MGM Studios in Florida. Mickey Mouse in the back. <laughs> they, they go for a double shoulder tackle, of course. Big guy stuff. Sure. I guess Mongo doesn't exactly know what a shoulder tackle is. <laughs> so he elbows the dog shit out of Lex Luger, man. And I'll go to go, ooh, hit him with that elbow. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, telling me, Mongo from the Bears. Doesn't know how to do a shoulder tackle. Yeah, Dr. Death B is disgusted. <laughs> BR is Mongo. Doesn't know. 
Well, Luger throws Mongo off an Irish no. whip. No. Mongo forgets how to run and then <laughs> eats shit in the ropes and falls out Dude, the ring. I swear that's how Mongo was trained to run the ropes because every time he's, he always runs like that. It's fucked up. Dude, Dude. he was sabotaged. Fuck you guys. Be ours. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was his whole. <laughs> that was Mongo's whole match. Was You're getting right. blown up by Luger. That, that's his spot. That's his spot. That's his flare spot. Is running. <laughs> that's his flare spot. Four. Running the ropes. <laughs> that shit is so funny. It would like probably should shut down your fucking neighborhoods. And God, that'd be crazy power, you if there was mean? a huge storm that knocked all our shit off. And Dude, I was it's lost like a russet footage. potato or something. <laughs> oh, you know? Dude, we know. Dude, we know. Dude, we Look, have buddy. Dude, what, what do you we know, know about the new world? odor oh, look buddy my. we know we gotta so go back in time where tony hated this again god damn it speaking of the six-man tag chris benoit comes in and uh immediately starts whooping lex luger's ass Dude, he's kicking ass right now he's just stomping him out in the corner was, it's crazy i was actually unsure of what was going on here because he fucking lights luger up in the corner with chops <laughs> does, yeah, and does. like luger is like staring at him like he wants to no sell it and like you know man up on him but benoit will not stop and then he starts stomping him and luger's staring at him like dude, wanting to no sell so he bad stopped but he about that was a like crazy that's like the craziest <laughs> stops ever too he just went in on that yeah, I, I, he's the only dude in the match throwing shit like this, by the he way. He is. Yeah. And then yeah. Macho Man gets in, gloms Benoit from behind, and I swear Benoit didn't know it was coming because he tr shoot tries to double like Macho, and I think they actually like fight Scuffle for a for minute. A minute. <laughs> dude, I think yeah. so. Yeah, see, the ref has, get pissed off. <laughs> the ref has to get down and like kind of fucking yo. <laughs> that's like, what, what's that's, what, that's the kind of that's what wrestling's missing is like when you have those moments, man. Where you, like, I swear to God, every match of the show real. had a moment where it's like, are they, what the hell's going yes! on? Yeah, even yeah. fucking Mike Anderson yeah. fucking Duggan, dude, man. Dude, I guarantee yeah. they didn't call anything in the back. They're like, let's just go, and then it they felt beat like the they shit did. Dude, there's no way they called anything here. No way. Dude, Benoit, uh, Benoit put Sting in a lion tamer at one point. <laughs> <laughs> what happened is Macho probably called everything in this match that nobody remembered any of it. And then Benoit's like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Benoit's confused and Macho Man's pissed that he forgot his spots. <laughs> so he yeah, attacks him for real. <laughs> <laughs> they have this superplex that comes out with Sting and Flair. And they have this camera shot of the superplex where they get right underneath them. And because yeah. they're outside, it shows like the night sky. So it looks oh. like Sting's like superplexing him from the sky. It looks incredible. <laughs> That's uh, insane. I think, they right. even, I think uh, uh, Shivani even says it's a superplex from the heavens. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it looks awesome. <laughs> Uh, Benoit then locks in the lion taper on yeah, Sting. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> he fucking cranks that in, by the way. He that does crank it, dude. That shit was gnarly. Does Jericho even work here yet? Uh, what's it, 96? Six. Was it ECW? He might have been ECW. So he just right? stole that shit from his Japan tour. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, they buddy. definitely knew each other. <laughs> yeah, he's not coming here. Whatever. Yeah, they definitely knew each other. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, Flair and Sting face off, and then. Uh, Shivani says, Jimmy Hart Daddy, is running Daddy. up to ringside. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, what do you mean? We need help, Daddy. Oh, please, we need somebody on the back. The outside's in the back. Jimmy Hart comes out and has to take the main Romer camera guy to the back. There's nobody else he could have gotten here. He has to steal the cameraman, and the cameraman goes. He goes to the Hell back. Yeah, he goes. Question, we, question this, though, why why get the cameraman? Why not the security that was ringside that was supposed to keep the NWO out? Why why the cameraman? Well, because of course the New World Odor are afraid of cameras. <laughs> yeah, they'll leave if there's a camera. Right? Yeah, they don't want to oh, get arrested by the yeah. cops. So they're Whatever. get out of here. So yeah, Jimmy Hart steals the camera guy from ringside in the middle of a 14 minute six man tag. <laughs> Uh, which I'm sure they're all very happy about. We're only it. halfway through. Chris Benoit, I'm sure, was very happy about Macho that Man one. was definitely unhappy. He had a lot of spots to still left. Well, the Outsiders are back there, apparently, and they're beating up one of Jimmy Hart's <laughs> teams. <laughs> <laughs> one of many. Jimmy Hart also... Uh, so it's weird, like... They, Jimmy Hart gets the camera guy to go back there, but then Jimmy Hart jumps up and down on the apron and the ropes for three minutes to try to get everyone else's attention, so they'll also go to the back. So we don't see what happens in the back until Luger and, and them go. So, that, like, I don't know why we never, like, why the cameraman took so long to get back there. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, he needed, you know, the cameraman's not going to stop these two dudes, right? Well, so, he's just like, filming. They're not going to attack him. I guess yeah. they could. Yeah, they could attack him. Take the fucking camera from him. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, so Luger and Sting One go of with his them. Many teams. <laughs> Cameron cuts backstage <laughs> and uh, farming teams. <laughs> he does. He has like a hundred. He yeah, comes he out does. like every match. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Camera cuts backstage and Hall and Nash are at a uh, control center truck with a baseball bat, and yes. Marcus Bagwell is on the ground. No. He's been jumped. It's unbelievable. And Arn Anderson also on the ground, by the way. Next, like uh, a little, a couple feet away from him. Next so they fucked up. Arn, they attacked Marcus Bagwell. Both guys were in announced matches for tonight, so they are ruining the fucking card. Then, the hero. He's like, he's, what's oh, going on? Marcus! He, stop <laughs> he stops, looks at the floor, Marcus! <laughs> Which gives Scott, he's like frozen in time, and it gives Scott it's Hall like enough time. It's it like is. a cartoon. It's like a cartoon character. Marcus! He, uh, Scott Hall has enough time to stare at him, turn around, pick up a bucket, and annihilate him <laughs> in the head with it. <laughs> Why does he use that bat he had? He just goes and gets a bucket. Because it wasn't worth it. He had to use something shittier on Scotty <laughs> Ray. His bat's not worth it. I thought it, was, I, I thought it was a water jug. That's all a bunch of water jugs over there. Did he just hit him with a fucking huge water <laughs> oh, jug full of water? I thought water? it was a bucket. No, yeah, it's probably a right. bucket. It probably makes more yeah. sense than a big-ass water <laughs> jug full of water. That's probably where they were pissing. There was probably piss all in that one. Piss jug? Oh, yeah, that'd probably. be crazy. Yeah. Uh, well, Ray Mysterio just finished peeing in those jugs, <laughs> and he is now all on of top of the control center truck. He's on the railing. He jumped. Uh, he, like, what's the out. deal with that? What's he <laughs> he's, doing there? He's, 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 doing save. Lucha, he's doing lucha things, you know? West Coast he's pop doing... off the top. He's got to stop the fucking NWO, man. He jumps off this railing, and then Kevin Nash catches him. I said, oh, no. <laughs> Kevin Nash then loads him up and lawn darts him into the side <laughs> of the trailer. <laughs> Makes a big Brutal. noise, too. It's oh, awesome. No! It's like an iconic oh, shot. It. Yeah, because WWE is the only shot they use of the NWO. You're right. I swear they, on everything. Everything they used from the NWO during the early days are this show. They show yeah. that se that segment and they show the promo that they cut later. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, well, Hall and Nash leave in a limousine, but off camera, <laughs> the Macho Man. He jumps oh, on the top of the limo. You ruined my spots. <laughs> 14 minutes. <laughs> So Macho Man, Macho Man jumps on top of the limo. The limo drives away, and Macho Man is just on top of the limo. They just go. I was really hoping they would show like an overhead helicopter shot of this limo with Macho Man just going down the fucking. Going down ninety five. <laughs> We're chasing here. We're here with the NWO, the, the New World oh, Order. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say on the news. Yeah, <laughs> like the uh, yeah but Macho was trying to grab to the sunroof. That was funny. Yeah, and they he drive like we don't. I don't know what happens because they drive off with him. Like they go off screen, driving off, and Macho Man is still trying to get them. I like that. I thought this was well done. This is awesome. Uh, Mongo is is here by the way, and he's screaming outsiders. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> So why we call an ambulance, please! Why can't you believe it? <laughs> They've only been warned all night. The security all over the place. How can this happen? <laughs> Dude, I love that that Shivani at the top of the show goes. They've been fucking. They've been targeting our control center trucks. And they go backstage and they're at the control center truck kicking everybody's ass. How could what they the do chances? this? Oh my god! Oh, you're so gonna die, Mongo! Dude, that is what Mongo is. Dude. Yeah, you're. Right. Right, it is for real. This can't go on, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Mongo, by the way, here looks like a big ass Frankie Kazarian. <laughs> It was unbelievable. Especially from, from a movie we just watched. Oh, I love that movie, too, that we <laughs> yeah, watched. It's on Patreon. How about that? It is on Patreon. Uh, somebody, yeah, so they call for an ambulance. Sting is there. He's tending to Marcus Bagwell, who they say later on is his close friend. He looks at Eddie and he says, Eddie, what happened? Eddie's, like, talking to Ray, and Sting looks at him and he says, what's he saying? <laughs> <laughs> Ray is speaking English. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that, buddy. Uh, but yeah, everyone's freaking out. Um, I assumed that Freak this shot out. wouldn't last so long. I didn't know it was 20 more minutes of this. Yeah, I didn't either. But I guess it makes sense like to make it real. Right. And especially like, during this period, you look at a 96 Raw compared to this. This is like yeah. unreal. Oh, my God. They were still doing cartoons over there. This is nuts. Yeah. Well, Eric Bischoff will let you know that the surrounding people that lived in the area actually call nine one one, whether oh. you want to believe that or not. I don't probably, know. Probably I would probably believe it. I Maybe. mean I mean they this is pretty it convincing. Pretty well. I guess yeah. the people in the stands were like, what is this fucking wrestling? I don't know what wrestling is. They're called 911. Yeah, their kids are there. They want to see Mickey Mouse. They see fucking Macho Man on top of a limo driving. It's all the American males Yo. compromised to a permanent end. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> not the American males. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> How could this happen? Please, not, not by the control truck. <laughs> there, uh, looks like they'll probably be by the control truck if I had to guess. At the control truck. Here they no. are. <laughs> Marcus. <No>. Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> so they're putting Ray and the American males on the on gurneys and putting them in ambulances at this they point now. Forever to do this though. This is not like in succession. There is at least two to three segs after this. Oh yeah, it's, it's everyone got, is gone. It's got to be. They were at like the thirty minute mark when this probably happened, and I, I think it wasn't until the hour mark that we at, moved on. At least forty five. I right. feel like they take. Don't they take a commercial break or do they, they not? Do. I feel like they do, and then they come back, and then they're just recapping. Oh yeah, it's definitely down. through a seg. Right. Yeah. So yeah, there's a fire truck that pulls up here. Uh, fucking Arn is. <laughs> they show a shot of of woman. She's like cradling Arn and Arn's holding his arm, my arm, my arm. And then it's just there's a glimpse of Ric Flair's ass and he's holding his hip, like right, right above the shot. It's like, get the fuck out of here. You took dog. like nine mother effing bobs, so he's probably fucking trying <laughs> yeah. to walk. They need to put him in the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> my you know what's crazy here, by the way, um, is that they took off Ray Jr.'s mask. Ray, by the way, speaking of Ray, is yelling Quattro, Quattro, and Eddie says, we mean there's four. Four? <laughs> <laughs> so there's only three outsiders. So for the next 15 to 20 minutes, it's them trying to figure out why Ray Mysterio keeps insisting that there was four people and that he's a crazy person for this. Well, you know, uh, Quattro does mean four, no. John. No. <laughs> How could this fucking be? Four. How could this fucking be? Four. Quattro. <laughs> yeah, so this is like literally... Probably, you know, they talk about, they always talk about it, I guess, when you look back at it, about how groundbreaking this was, but it really was. So, like, it was. you get to see this backstage thing that just happened. They they get away in the limo with Macho Man on top of it. Yes. They, yeah. You get to see all, I mean, it's a ton of wrestlers. It's like pretty much all the guys Alex that are there. Alex Wright's there. Like, the whole card is there, or I mean, the card that they thought, and they make it. It legitimately feels like, I, if you were watching this at the time, it's probably crazy, because it legitimately feels like the NWO just took out the, like, they knew that, they said the card at the top, NWO just took out all the guys that everyone was expecting to be in matches, and now what the fuck do you do? Yeah. yeah. yeah Absolutely. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. exactly what happened. I love the it's way fun. they sold this, too, because they take, okay, so everyone gets into the ambulances and all that stuff like that, um, it cuts back to ringside, and Eric Bischoff is now out here uh, with Heenan, because they were going to take over for hour two of right. Nitro, of course. Uh, to do commentary, but Heenan uh, says to Eric, you know, he says, I want to talk to you face to face, man to man. I, you know, I'm not doing any commentary now. I got, you know what? It's not, it's not an interview. It's not a wrestling interview. I'm talking to you. Yeah. He says, it's not worth being out here if I'm going to get crippled by a bunch of guys that don't even work here. Yeah. Um, which is, it, you know, <laughs> okay. I hear you. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they, uh, yeah, dude, and then fucking they, Meng and Benoit start arguing. <laughs> They just start, they're looking like shoot fight back. They're just arguing. And Mongo says, There is a time and a place. Look at this. He's pointing to the bodies all. Look at this. <laughs> and then Jimmy Hart, uh, Meng's yelling stuff. Meng also, by the way, one of Jimmy Hart's many tag team members. Oh, of course. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. that man was probably making so much money. He's in every fucking segment on the show. He And he was doing the music for the show. Yeah, that's unreal, man. He was going to get his fucking money. Hustler, bro. Hustler. But yeah, so Heenan, he comes to talk to Eric. He says, look, man, I'm not going to fucking die out here for this. This is not worth it. No fucking and Bischoff way. says, well, I can't promise you anything. So Heenan just walks away. He just says, all right, well, I'm not going to do it. Heenan pretty much says, can you guarantee like, can you, can you guarantee me that I physically won't be hurt? And Bischoff said, I can't guarantee you anything. You do what you got to do. And he said, right, I'm out then. Bischoff, yeah, I'm, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, I hear I'm you. gone. Bischoff, I, I'm not going to argue with you. You do what you got to do. I'm going to need some help here, though, boys. And he's talking to Shivani and Zabisco, of course. And, uh. Bishop says, like, we, listen, we still got to get the show going. And Giovanni says, well, the American males were up next. And Bishop says, well, we're going to have to go to the standby matches that we usually have. You have standby matches? That's awesome. Yeah, that is I very cool. That is unbelievable. What a great kayfabe fucking thing. Yeah, we just have awesome. standby matches. Yeah. They even announced it later. This is a standby match. <laughs> they didn't have to do that. Yeah, that was cool. Well, of course, there's no screens here or anything. So the crowd, after sitting around for 15 to 20 minutes, is restless. So... Bischoff's trying to sell this as, you know, the comments are trying to sell this as a big emotional thing, like, oh, fuck, we're in ruin. And all you hear is, 
Boring. <laughs> Boring. I said, oh, fuck. Well, you, oh, fuck. you guys might think that way. It's because you can't see what's going on behind the scenes right now. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't understand. They don't, you Am know, I they allowed just to can't go see? to the park and come back after this boring shit's over? Can I do that? Dude, they no, sit there for like 40 there. minutes, dude. 40 minutes, and they, like there's nothing going on. And for some reason, they didn't like go in the ring and be like, hey, uh, the NWO just fucking killed the American killed males. Killed everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Mysterio was long done off a fucking truck. They just had Mean Gene do that. Yeah, for real. Kevin Nash just attacked Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Goofy the dog. Goofy the dog has been compromised <laughs> by Scott Hall. Stop it. Neo Size Ming has killed the dog. <laughs> Kill the dog. Scrooge McDuck is here. We're getting word right now. The NWO. His name is Goofy. Goofy the dog has been compromised. <laughs> <laughs> they got the Goof Troop. <laughs> They're just naming fucking Disney products getting killed by the NWO in the ring right now. Boring. To- <laughs> Boring. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> they have, what is this? I'm getting word now. They killed Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse has died by the NWO. Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. <laughs> Four hours Where's Four Four hours Tully. 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 Where's Tully? <laughs> I guess I'll move on. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, so now it's time for the standby match of the Steiner Brothers versus High Voltage. Yeah. Kenny Chaos! <laughs> Robbie Rage. Robbie Rage. The construction workers win again, man. This is a good night, man. If you got Dude, soft this- hands, you won't like this show. I'll tell you that much. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, the Steiners come out, and I'm like... What is fucking Sting coming out again? But I forgot how very similar their songs are. I was yeah. like, oh, this is Steiner's. Uh, well, Rick, okay. Rick Steiner and Scott Steiner are, are Rick. sad. <laughs> Rick <Yeah>. Steiner. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Rick Steiner is like having PTSD or something. He can't stop looking behind him. It's the fireworks, uh, man. They got to him. He was in the war. <laughs> <laughs> Flashbacks. Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, he was. The Star Wars happening. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 oh my god uh, it looks like the WCW roster is being drafted into the Star War shut the fuck up boring <laughs> Bo- American males American males <laughs> but it looks like we have the what is it what did you call him the new world odor yeah, yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> This crowd is full of smarks. Look at how good that's out there. I like that Disney shit. Disney smarks. Like I got the goddamn Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> Disney smarks. <laughs> tripping, tripping with goofy juice. They all have got Rey Mysterio Jr. shirts on and Crispin Wise shirts on. I got the Mickey Mouse joints on. Dude, Kenny Chaos looks just like Josh Bishop. Dude, that's that's crazy. Kenny <laughs> Chaos. Looks exactly like Joshua Bishop. 100%. <sighs> Yeah, well, they, uh, they're they out here to work tonight because they might have a chance because the Steiner brothers uh, are scared of the fireworks. So At one point, <laughs> Kenny Chaos is beating... He's getting... No, sorry. Robbie Rage, I think it is. One of them is getting heat on Rick Steiner. Rick Steiner is trying to sell while also trying to sell that he's looking backstage. Like, they must have drilled in his head, hey, you have to fucking seem concerned here. And Rick Steiner took that as, I have to keep looking at this game. <laughs> Yeah, I love that the Steiners were real nervous about this. And then, like, High Vulture said, we're going to kick your ass tonight. We don't give a fuck. Yeah, we want to be in the NWO. Care. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, fuck you guys, man. Um, Robbie and- Rage does a sweet diving shoulder tackle uh, uh, off the top, which I was like, oh, this is sick. Um, by the way, the fireworks are going off the entirety of this match, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Fuck. Um, of course, Kenny Chaos hits a bunch of his signature moves like the punch and the punch, and he hits another punch. <laughs> <laughs> and also his signature move, getting hit with all of Scott Steiner's offense. Scott Steiner grabs his ass, hits it with the Steiner screwdriver. Crazy style, by Dude, the way. Was this the first time he did it here? Might be the first time in America he did it, yeah. Drop kick. Got enough of his opponent, Student. And Student thus far. Is having his problems. Well, he's not Watch being a man. real good student, uh-huh. is he? Here we go. Just for you, buddy. Just for the macho man. Uh, thank goodness. To- oh, yeah, I've never seen anything like that. We have a winner. I appreciate it. No, we've got a loser. He's not gonna. <laughs> Yeah, dude, Scott does all his shit. He does the tilt world slam with the yeah fucking pump arm gimmick, uh, double underhook slam, and then, dude, this screwdriver. Is awesome. fucking 
insane. It's awesome. It's crazy looking. This yeah. is insane. Like, I don't know if, like, he just said he was going to do it and he didn't tell fucking Robbie Rage how to take it because it looks like he paralyzes him. It is awesome. This is, uh, well, I mean, you know, he does use it for, like, he he's introduced it before. Um, but not in America. And like, I think it's cause no one in America wanted to take it legit. I, I, I genuinely believe like he was like, they were probably looking for like a more like a push. They were looking for a push or a, a longer term deal. And like getting on the right side of the Steiners was probably the fucking move to do that. Hell yeah. So he was like, I have this fucking move where I <laughs> fucking I kill, you. kill you for real. <laughs> and he goes, you know what, dude, go for it. Dude, high voltage were fucking down for that shit, man. They would take anything. That's why I like these guys. Yeah, Kenny Chaos, fucking Robbie Razor. What could you ask? Like, these are the fucking dudes yeah, right those here. Those are the boys. Those are the boys. They should have been in the end of the They were, they I don't were think like, they ever make it. They were like the Steiners, like, uh, they could have been like the Steiners understudy, really. I mean, they, they were the evil Steiners. They yeah. had the yeah. same right. tie on, too, yeah. Yeah, that was, and they looked great. And Kenny Chaos did the punch. That was one of his bigger moves. That he did. <laughs> High voltage were made by Finster in a fucking lab <laughs> to fight the Steiners. <laughs> that shit was lit as hell. Like, they came out it swinging. It was awesome. Yeah, you have to see this fucking screwdriver. It is insane. Dude, the crowd doesn't can't even, even care because they're so bored of like. Because they've seen it a million stuff. times in Japan. They've watched oh, it a million yeah. times. <laughs> 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 it's not new to them. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so next up, of course, to uh, follow up the Steiner screwdriver finish uh, is Big Bubba versus Eddie Guerrero in the <laughs> they, longest match of all this time. This is crazy long. They also finally, they show the ambulance taking the rest of the bodies that were in the back to the hospital. It has been like a half hour. They were just <laughs> laying on the floor <laughs> waiting for well, more ambulances. It took a long I, time to get the ambulance. I can there. only imagine how hard it is to get an ambulance in the Disney and then out of Disney. It's probably not easy. They were well. Actually, from what I read, it was it was pretty easy actually. Okay. But they had to use yeah. all of the. Yeah, fuck you, Tony. Sure. Yeah, just so you know, from Suck what I dick. read, it was super easy. But the problem is, Tony, is that they had to use a ton of ambulances for Goofy, Mickey Mouse, <laughs> the rest of the Goof Troop, Minnie, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah, they all got their shit packed up. Oh, they and, had to do uh, that, that was before they problem. got to the Nitro. They had to. They didn't up air all that though because they knew yeah. nobody would care about that, Tony. Yeah, You're right. That's on Saturday yeah. night. You got to tune in for that. Yeah, make sure you don't miss that. The it's following urgent. standby contest is scheduled for one fall, and it's Big Bubba with Jimmy Hart for Zeddy Guerrero. Big Bubba looks fucked up, man. He does look fucked up. Was this pyro Somebody for Eddie? Somebody back it? to the WWF now. <laughs> like, this <laughs> guy's got to get out of here, bro. You put on a big blue outfit now. <laughs> <laughs> get your ass over there, bro. Bischoff says, Big well, Bubba's uh, got before- a hat. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Jimmy Hart, too. Yeah. One of the many. Uh, Bishop says, we got to take a quick break. Come on, Eddie. Show us what you got. And Larry Zbysko, just before the commercial, says, New World Odor. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Show us what you got, buddy. Show Don't us work. what you got. Don't worry. He will. New World Odor. It's legit like <laughs> dipping to black. New yeah. World Odor. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... This match sucks. Holy shit. Dude, they have uh, this is heat they, on heat on heat on heat. They give this match 12 minutes. Big Bubba has maybe four minutes worth of anything to do, and he has uh, 10 minutes of heat. Dude, it's unfucking real. Every time Eddie does anything, he just fucking cuts him off. I wrote down plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. <laughs> Pet Boys plus 10 moment of the day. Yeah, yeah 100%, cool. Tony. God damn it, man. Fucking send Fuck. his ass back to the WWF. Give him a shiesty yeah. now. <laughs> Get this guy out of here. It's man. not working, man. Like, this is Dude, rough, bro. He he finally hits a tornado DDT. Then Jimmy Hart distracts the ref. Uh, Eddie gets fucking launched over Bubba's head to the second rope. Jimmy then throws the megaphone to Big Bubba. Big Bubba's a big, big idiot Bubba. and can't fucking grab the fucking thing. So Eddie sunset flips him from the apron into the ring, rolls him up and wins. Holy. What a waste of fucking time. Holy. Yeah, this is rough, man. Big Bubba. Uh, <laughs> Bubba. I think Bubba Big Bubba joins bad. the NWO and they beat him up like a three seconds later after he joins back. Bro, he does join the NWO. <laughs> he He's joins like it for like a early... minute and then they beat him up right away. I think Hogan immediately turns on him like right after he joins. He probably immediately, oh, this guy's a fucking jabroni. Dude. <laughs> Big yeah, right. Baba killed Winnie the Pooh. So it goes to commercial. Uh, and of course, for the very first time ever. Is this the uh, first one? This is the first one ever. Oh. It goes to commercial and it comes back and it says, the following announcement has been paid for by the New World 
odor. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe the story was, at least Nash tells it, that they did these promos and like Nash and Hall were like, this is not going to fucking work because Hogan won't drop the fucking shit. Yeah, I've heard, yeah, still, I, I, yeah, I've heard yeah, that. Yeah. 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 He's still like vitamin and fucking say your prayers out. And like, they're That's like, so holy funny. shit, this is not going to fucking work. This is dead. And then whoever edited these said, I'll fucking make it work. And he fucking did. That guy should yeah, be was a the editor. Whoever the editor was is fucking saved this whole thing. Yeah, man. Well, that's so because you can tell here that Hogan is still super Hogan out. He never loses that either. No, he's doing the fucking back and forth thing. What what was the thing he said that was like a rhyme, a nursery rhyme? Oh, uh, well, I have a bunch of shit written okay, down here. So yeah, we'll I'll tell you the exact part where okay, you can sure. tell he goes into his Hogan <laughs> well, shit. Hogan, well, he's, we start, he's, it's a tough job, dude, but somebody's got to do it. You talk about the money. You talk about beat people up. Well, it's the New World Order, and I hope it's okay. He says this so much. I hope it's okay. He won't stop with this. Oh, fucking, I hope it's okay. Because there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, Nash says some shit. They both fucking, you know, talk about the NWO. Hall says this. Think about it. It's the NWO. We're new. We're taking over World Championship Wrestling. And we're given all the orders. Dude, they, now they I, have, I fucking hate that part because they like, when he says new, it shows like the N from the NWO and then world yeah, and then W <laughs> and then the O on order. Well, they were explaining it, dude, just so you know. <laughs> well, I had my fucking checkbox here to give fucking Scott Hall a strike, but I think he was okay at this one. He was awesome. He taught normal yeah. speed, yeah. had things to say. Had yeah, cool I was, lines. Yeah, I almost wanted to remove the, the strike from the WWF no, Raw uh, one. It was so bad that I, we can't. Yeah. We can't. Maybe Razor so and Scott Hall are different. Yeah, maybe. If you see Hall but, in the you know. back here, he's chopping down the giant, I think, in the back. Oh, he's axe. chopping down the mountain with, with the side yeah. of his hand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fucking Hogan says, it's the new way. Is that okay? Fuck! <laughs> Shut the fuck yeah, up! Yeah, that's right. Well, is he it? just we may, like <laughs> right? <laughs> Did you write that with a crayon? <laughs> <laughs> You know, billionaire Ted, with all of Ted's horses and all of Ted's men, you're not going to be able to put WCW back together again. That's what I'm saying. That's what he goes into the with all the Ted's men and all the horses and the money, dude. And he's like doing the exact fucking Hogan back and forth, fucking left yeah. to right, back to center Hogan shit. I yeah. was like, oh my God. Well, you're never going to put it together again, brother. I was like, oh, here it goes. Humpty Dumpty, dude. <laughs> that was crazy, man. Hall says, uh, I see you like this. Everybody wants to know who's next. We'll look at the third man we delivered. Everyone wants to know who's going to be four or five. And H Hall's trying to cut this cool promo, and Hogan's behind him going, Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Holy shit. That's real, man. Hall says, These WCW guys, Sting and Lex, they got soft. They living in Billionaire Ted's County Club. We got to fight, scratch, and claw for everything we got. And boys, we want you. And Nash says, The whole world wants to know one thing, Luger. What do you been? What do you mean, Lex? <laughs> what do you mean, Lex? <laughs> you got soft hands. What do you mean, Lex? <laughs> On August 10th, I'm wrestling the Giant. I forgot. It slipped my mind, brother. I mean, the WCW heavyweight title is on the line. I find it quite ironic that the WCW could be so weak to beg, to plead, to cry out, dude. <laughs> the Giant. That he's their last hope. And on August 10th, Hog Wild Brother. He forgot the name of the show. Hog Wild Brother. <laughs> On that night, the outsiders become the insiders, dude. And when 500,000. 500,000. All the close captured inaudible, I think, or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> the outsiders become the insiders. Oh, yeah, when he and says when when he says insiders, it turns white. It's like a inverts. It's like the outsiders because oh, the insiders do the invert effect. The editor is crazy. Yeah, well, Tony, when 500,000 Harley Davidson's by their side, brother, the NWO will establish himself as the greatest organ wrestling organization on earth, brother. And Hogan says, on one given night, dude, as you two amigos, fucking amigos, like this is, he's super hokey still. My two amigos here, dude, destroy the top talents in WCW. The giant shall crumble and fall at Hulk Hogan's feet. And that's uh that that was and five hundred thousand <laughs> Roomba Harley Davidsons. Roomba, nah, Roomba. That's like fucking Cordelia. Like, mm, Roomba, 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 Yeah, so great. And Roomba. there you go. That is the very first ever New World Order black and white commercial ever. That's crazy, man. That is fucking like. 
Thank you, editor. Thank yeah, you, like, paste editor, whoever you are. Thank I, you, Hogan, brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 500,000. So I want to, um, just one of the Observer things that I, I didn't mention earlier, uh, Meltzer wrote from August 5th, 1996 Observer, the Outsiders, uh, which was the only ones were Hall and Nash, but in storyline we were supposed to leave Hogan and a fourth person were involved, so I guess it's best. It's the best angle Hogan has ever done, and he probably wasn't within 3,000 miles of the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're uh, right. <laughs> then jumped in a limo with Randy Savage on the roof of the limo and drove away. They sold it forever. Uh, in parentheses, he says the selling of the angle was tons better than the angle itself. Uh, with women freaking out, uh, freaking out, Benoit nearly in tears, Sting and Flair going in the same ambulance to comfort Anderson and Bagwell, and Mysterio Jr. having his mask taken off before going to the ambulance. Uh, while the angle itself was a ratings killer for the night, it'll pay off in the long run because the curiosity of the angle should uh, ha- hold ratings this coming Saturday and Monday, and it should help the buy rate on August 10th. He would be correct. Yeah, yeah, I bet. I fucking, I mean, because that's what a fucking game changer that was. I really, I would love to see, and I'm sure they have them, right? I would love to see that promo session, like, unedited. Oh, sure, yeah. Oh, sure right. great. <laughs> <laughs> how much shit they actually had to cut that Hogan said. Like, just yeah. how much Dude, I bet Nash is like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Shut up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, man. I'm going back to fucking This Vince. is not cool. You were supposed to be cool. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure Nash was like, damn, I should have stayed at WWF when Hogan was doing that promo. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. That's awesome. So it recaps the shit from before. Uh, of course, all the stuff that happened back so in the day. So much. It's like stuff. the whole fucking thing. Yeah, well, in case you missed yeah, it, you might have watching live it, television. Of course, Isn't that crazy? Yeah, you would have just missed it. Like, you just see it, then fuck it. You're done. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well, now it's time for the main event. It was supposed to be Arn Anderson versus the Giant for the title, was, but Arn was taken out. I was excited for that fucking match, by the way. Yeah, it would have been sweet, I think. Well, yeah. well, if it was the same thing as what we actually got, then maybe not. No, but I feel, um, like, yeah, I feel like they yeah. think a little more of Arn than they do of Greg the Hammer Valentine. Yeah, they had a point to prove with this guy. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> <laughs> the Giant versus Greg the Hammer. Greg. Valentine. One of Triple H's favorite wrestlers. Oh, is that right? Is that where he gets all this Of course, from? yes. Oh, indeed. it's like Sledgehammer, it right? Right? All right. There, you, there it is. Yes. He's, also mm. Co- he's also Cody's favorite wrestler by proxy. Oh, I mean, oh of course. That's how it works. Sure, sure. Yes, of course. So Greg the Hammer mm. is here, and he uses the hammer on the Giant, brother. Well, Giant is entrance, by the way. His pyro, just so you have an idea of this, uh, his pyro sounded like a very small fart from a very tight ass <laughs> through a little straw. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, I want the people to know this. I like that, man. Okay, yeah, right. yeah, you're reading a book right now, too, brother. <laughs> to me, it sounded like 500,000 <laughs> Harley <laughs> My favorite brand, the Broom. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean that's that's the goddamn official motorcycle, of the Octagon. Five hundred thousand of them. Or yeah, Broom-ba. you're right, dude. Broom. Tell them so. <laughs> I'd love to hear Macho say Broom. <laughs> Harley Davidson. We got to get him what to say you that. You mean fuck you, dude? <laughs> I'm not fucking say that. <laughs> What a fucking you say it. You have 5,000 balloon bars. Nah, 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 fuck it, fuck you, man. Nah, don't fucking say that. I want to say that. Fuck you. Mm, okay. All right, well, how about you How about you get some damage on Apex then? Yeah, fucking hit your shots, Macho. I'll give you some fucking damage <laughs> on Apex. Shots. Yeah, brother. Mm, Either, okay. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you two. I'll give you two here, brother. You either do some damage on Apex or you say room, <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll be hearing where's it sometime all, soon. Where's all my Broomba it's at, brother? <laughs> Today, Broomba. we have 500,000 Loomba, Holly Davidson's versus Roman Reigns. <laughs> We're going to draft 500,000 Loomba <laughs> off this wheel. Oh. Oh, but now it's time for Greg the Hammer Valentine, who the won the spin of the wheel to face off against the giant and use his big hammer on the giant. But. <laughs> Sadly, brother, the giant isn't here to work with Greg. No way. No no fucking way. He was here to work with Arn Anderson. So tonight, you will get the giant's hammer up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like giant's gear still didn't fit him here. Like his strap was coming down before he even pulled it down. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. He uh, he is fucking in shape. He's he looks good. insane. He's going to the barber getting the sideburn cut. Dude. He's looking clean as hell, man. He's awesome. I also just remember we might get Captain Insano in that AEW game. Yeah, I'm fucking hyped wow. up now. Oh, wow. I forgot about yeah. that. That would be so sick. Yeah, that um, would be cool. I hope it's actually Captain Insano and not like 
bald Captain Sano, oh, which I can't, oh, dude, no. that would be rough. That would be rough. Current oh, day Big man. Show as Captain Insano. No. Yeah, that'd be brutal. Uh, but I guess we'll see. It could just be current day Big Show in like a Captain Insano singlet or something. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Greg the Hammer fucking tries to use his hammer, but the fucking giant is working his gimmick, brother. He's not letting him do it. No way. Fuck you, man. I'm going to fucking no sell your shit. And then you're going to go to the second rope. I'm going to pull the strap down and then choke slam and you're done. Dude, he hit him with the double axe. It's Greg the Hammer <laughs> shit. The double axe on the top of the giant says, no, no, no. Yeah, he hits Fuck him with you. a mean ass choke slam off the top. The Greg the Hammer Valentine's bump card is finished by this point. Giant says, I really yeah. don't care. Dude, <laughs> I don't care. Greg Valentine agreeing to do a second rope choke slam is pretty crazy. It is crazy because he's a fuck for the love of the game. Yeah, you're you know right. what I mean. He's the world's heavyweight champion right here. Yeah. Um. And yeah, choke slam off the top or uh, second, I guess, but it looked like the top because the giant like the was fucking right. huge. Um. And he said on the way down, the old guard is dead. The prima donna <laughs> brother. You're not going to be riding through here. I'll tell you that, dude. Uh. So he picks him back up again. <laughs> choke slam again <laughs> on the hammer. That was mean. That second that one was had unnecessary. Some, uh, that, he, yeah, that was a shoot one. He didn't call yeah. that. No way. He didn't call any of this. He said, you go do your shit and I'll show you what a real man looks like. <laughs> I'll show you so the difference you, between this pay scale here, brother. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Crazy. I can't even imagine the difference. Oh, my God. Uh, giant wins. Uh, and then Giant goes to the camera at the end. Holy schmoke. Oh, my you God. Hear da, 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 da. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, dude. Right, this shit is a turn off. We got to finish this we show. We got to hurry up. Okay. So Giant, <laughs> yeah, Giant gets yeah, close yeah. to the fucking camera. He says, I want you to listen real close, Hulk Hogan. Pay attention and listen real close. And then and he, he walks, walks away. away. Yeah, I said, what the fuck? I, I, said, <laughs> I thought you were going to beat up Greg the Hammer again. I was going to say, damn, this dude can't get a break. <laughs> they replay the finish, but here's Mean Gene. I was like, oh, okay. So Mean Gene starts to interview Giant. He's fle Giant is flexing like Hogan while Mean Gene is pontificating here. Jimmy Hart has a crazy tie on that has his face as well as Kevin Sullivan's face on it. <laughs> There's just a lot going on here. <laughs> so Giant says, well, you know something, Mean Gene? <laughs> I'm on top of the mountain, brother. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And then he awkwardly stops, which I think was the signal for Mean Gene to cut him off. Because Mean Gene says, wait a minute, have you lost your Mar Marvel's Giant? That's a knockoff on Hogan. The crowd laughs at him, too, when he says that. Hey, have you lost your Marvel's? <laughs> Giant says, no. I just want to explain to people at home how easy it is to fall for that con trap. He says, that's what Hogan did. He conned America. He conned America. He told them what they wanted to hear. And the problem was he didn't believe it himself. He came to WCW with his two piranhas. And he started the NWO because he knew he could never be the big fish in WCW. And while you're making movies, I'm defending this title with every bit of honor in my body. I said, holy shit, the giant is awesome. You are losing this title, though, <laughs> aren't you? You're losing, huh? <laughs> he does, he yeah, does lose the title. Yeah. Uh, you want your new world order? This is WCW. I guarantee you, WCW, if we don't hang together, we'll all be hanging separately. I said, oh, fuck. And then he said, yeah! oh, yeah. And then he said, Hogan, <laughs> I've got a choke slam noose that's going to fit right around your neck. Ah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> that's just yeah. so lit, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, well, that's real shit, man. The one that takes it home, of course, is Jimmy Hart. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. Jim Jim Dude, Jimmy Hart. I, I couldn't believe that. I thought it was over. The, yeah, I could have sworn it was going to be the end of the Me show. Me too, because it was fired Jimmy up. Hart. Had to confess his sins to the public <laughs> like, before this went off the this air. <laughs> mean Gene says, Oh, we got a little time here, Jimmy. What were you going to say? Jimmy says, Mean Gene, you know me for most of my career. I eat, sleep, pro wrestling 24 hours a day. Sometimes I lie so much I believe what I'm lying. <laughs> and one day I'll pay for the things I've done. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> shit. So I'm Harrison Hogwild. Hogan, we'll take you out. What? <laughs> Sometimes I lie so much I believe what I'm lying about, and one day I'll have to pay for the things I've done. <laughs> what? <Hey. laughs> he's he's admitting to the murder of Mickey Mouse. <laughs> That's all his voice too, Daddy. <laughs> I'm Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I couldn't believe. And I was like, "What the fuck is he talking about?" <laughs> but he just yeah, dude, that was unreal. His sins is a great way to put it. And they uh, they cut away from that real quick too. Yeah, they are. Right, we're we're gonna... done. <laughs> and I'm here to confess right now. Richard Nixon, I have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has not been talked about enough. And I'm going to bring attention to it now. 
now. <laughs> All right. Well, we're out of here for the night. Uh, this announcement has been paid for by the WCW. We got to get out of here. Bye, everybody. We got to go all that time. What a, what a crazy show. I mean, this, I mean, it's pretty monumental episode, like, in history. But it's just so weird. Like, I feel like that happens a lot when we go back and watch these with huge moments. Like, how fucking much bullshit there was around these, like, incredible like important moments in wrestling history yeah no absolutely i mean yeah there's so much that like pretty much changes the business forever like right here in this two hour show right now (laughs) which is yeah you're right it's pretty nuts um you're right um, but that was uh, a lot of fucking interesting stuff on that uh and uh so i'm glad we fucking check out it was a funny show on that one too no yeah it was was good. good Varumba, who is Chase Bell, Peanut Monster, Esmilda, Z, Nigel McGuinness is concussed, dude, or maybe he isn't brother, Noah Turner, Torch Crawler, Eric Ward, Tony Davis, Heel Diggy, and Omega. If you think you would be good in the New World Order, brother, then head on down to my Patreon, dude. Links are in the description. <laughs>